Hello, I'm Artifacts from Mars, and you're not going to believe this one. In Portland, Oregon, where else, the wacko nutcase leftists that run the Portland area schools, you know, figure, have decided to ban any and all printed material that goes against global warming dogma. Basically, they're saying, hey, screw you. Uh, if you don't believe in global warming, we're not going to give you a voice. Now, these are anti-Americans. I've said this before. Excuse me. Move my chair a little closer. I said these, this before. These are anti-Americans. I don't care what they're talking about. Portland, a lot of places. Uh, I see them in the cities. They hate America. Well, there's one right in the White House. They hate America. They hate freedom. They hate representative government. They hate everything there is about it. But now, what they've done is they've banned any book, any material in Portland schools that is critical of the global warming theory. That's man-made global warming. That we're headed back to the Middle Ages, people. Not even. This is 7th century thinking in 2016 American. America. They did, uh, they're talking about putting in people in prison. There's a related story. There's a bunch of uh, attorneys general that want to put people in prison for denying it. This is getting out of hand and people are going to have to wake up. You got fascism coming from these people all over the place. But in Portland, Oregon, we also had the uh, anti-white uh, fascists who basically have stated on record they want to eliminate the white race. Uh, we got to wake up, people. We're in serious danger. These people are insane. Portland, Oregon schools banned questioning of global warming climate change. In a move spearheaded by environmentalists, the Portland Public Schools Board unanimously approved a resolution aimed at eliminating doubt of climate change and its causes in schools. Resolution passed Tuesday, May 17th, calls for the school district to get rid of de textbooks or other materials that cast out on whether Climate change is occurring, and that the activity is, of human beings is responsible. The resolution also directs superintendent and staff to develop implementation of plan for curriculum and educational edu opportunities to address climate change and climate justice, whatever that is. It says climate justice is a term used for framing Global warming is an ethical and political issue rather than one that is purely environmental or physical in nature. Bill Bigelow, a former Portland public schools teacher and current curriculum editor of Rethinking Schools, a magazine devoted to educational issues, worked with environmentalist climate change group, 350 PDX and other environmental Nazi groups who present the resolution. A lot of text, a lot of the text materials are kind of thick with language of doubt, and I believe the science says otherwise. Well, I don't care what you believe, Mr. Uh, uh, Trader Bigelow. Accuse the public publishing industry of bowing to pressure from energy companies. That is a lie. You saw a liar. Liar, 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 pants on fire. We don't want kids in Portland learning material courtesy of the fossil fuel, oil, and gas industry. You, sir, are a communist. Nothing more. You are an anti American traitor, and I'm calling you out right now. Inboard te testimony, Bigelow said. Portland Public Schools science textbooks use words like might, may, and could when talking about climate change. 
Carbon dioxide emissions from motor vehicles, power plants, and other sources may contribute to global warming. That is a bunch of BS. They don't do much. He quotes his physical science published by Pearson Publishing is saying, this is a section that could be written by the Exxon Public Relations Group and it's being taught in Portland schools. So here we have an environmental Nazi who hates America, he hates freedom, he hates representative government. I'll tell you, these people are a bunch of extortionists. I'm not taking that back. They are extortionists, people. They're trying to get your money. That's what this is about. They're not trying to save the planet. That they, they uh, claim the crisis is going and you have to pay them in order to save the planet and they're going to shut up their opponents. This is an international crime cartel and Mr. Bigelow is a part of that. So is the entire school board. School board member Mike Rosen a, uh, another extortionist and member of the International Crime Syndicate in, introduced the resolution. He also leads New Northwest Eco Literacy Collaborative, a project focused on environmental curriculum standards. However, he says that work has been on hold. So, and break this down. This is medieval thinking, not even medieval thinking. This is like uh, what they had in Dark Ages. This is like 6th century, 7th century thinking. And it's inexcusable. It's the same type of thing they did to Galileo, only in that day it was church that did what they did to Galileo. Now we have these global warming people who have been have actually grown into a cult, and they're doing the exact same thing that church did. That's what this amounts to. Inexcusable. Get your kids out of Portland schools. These people are insane. Most of them probably belong in prison. Get your kids out of those schools. Don't let them listen to these sons of bitches. I'm all for freedom of speech. I'm all for people expressing their opinions. That's what they should be able to do. But now, your opinions are being squelched. You're not being allowed to speak out and talk about things. You think this is going to stop at Portland schools? I got news for you. It won't. I'm Artifacts of Mars. If this video turns out okay, then I am back. Thank you for watching.